first triple on certainly in Atlanta and for maybe on the East Coast, but they've been making it for a couple of years in Seattle. And a friend of ours there has made it over the course of the last nine months. The boat is made out of two devils that sacrificed their lives in order that Rub a Dub might live. <laughs> oh, this is very holy. We had an extensive competition for naming the boat. Many worthwhile competitive names were offered and we settled on Rub-A-Dub, which has a, um, a, a light touch, it's a, it's a, and a whimsy, and it came whimsical uh, element to it, and we thought we could live with over a period of time, unlike some of the other names. Many of the names that were offered alluded to the fact that the three of us had some kind of a strange an unnatural relationship, but we rejected those. <laughs> a proclivity for being with each other. Right. <laughs> they included the names Menage à Trois, <laughs> Lucky <laughs> Pierre, and what else? I don't know. Others. What were the people who moved the boat? What they did on it? I don't know. Hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. Oh, no. So, um, two thirds of the boat, about uh, two thirds back, came from a boat uh, that was built initially for the Seattle Rowing Club, and it was a heavyweight boat, and when the women's group took over the Seattle Rowing Club, it was named the Nimitz. I have a little plastic thing in my two box, which is right here. Rubber dub dub, rubber dub dub, three men in a top, three men in a top.